Hello everybody and welcome to uh, unit 4.1.2. We are talking about we are talking about the relationship between positive uh, repeating decimals and positive fractions um, and of course terminating decimals and fractions as well. Um, moving forward we need to understand a few things about uh, numbers. For example, um, if we take a look at the number 3, it, it can be written a few different ways. First of all, it's written as a number, as 3. It can also be written as a fraction. So 3 actually equals 3 over 1, which is still 3 holes. Um, and even as a decimal, um, 3 can be written as 3.0 or 0 .00, depending on how many zeros you'd like to add. Having a fraction simply means that um, there is division involved. So if we take a look at the fraction um, 1 over 10, all this simply means is that we are dividing uh, 1 by 10. So we can rewrite that to look something that looks like this. And we also know that when we divide 1 by 10 as part of our benchmark fractions, that 1 divided by 10 equals 0.1. Decimals such as 0 0.1 or, say, as an example, 0 0.25 are what we refer to as terminating decimals. Alternatively, if we have decimals such as 0 0.3333330, oh, we can keep going as far as we want, um, is an example of what we call a repeating decimal. And instead of writing 33333, three, 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 we can denote a repeating decimal as 0 0.3 uh, with a bar over top of the decimal or the decimals that repeat. As an example, we'll take a look at the fraction 4 divided by 30 or 4, 4 over 33, sorry, which can be rewritten as 4 divided by 33. And of course, by this time, we all know how to do the long division method. Um, so we will take a quick shortcut and pop in our calculator. 4 divided by 33. And we'll get an answer that looks like 0 0.12121212. And that will repeat uh, as far as the calculator can calculate. Um, so we can either write that as 0. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and so on and so forth, or we say 0 0.12 repeating. So how do we convert decimals into fractions and vice versa? We'll use 1 over 5 as an example. And what we want to do is try to write this fraction uh, with a denominator of either 10, 100, or 1,000. So in order to get this um, to uh, denominator of 10 and we want these to be equivalent so we're going to put an equal sign uh, in order to get from 5 to 10 here we have to multiply by 2 so since we did that to the denominator we also have to do it to the numerator which is going to give us 2 over 10 which can be rewritten as 2 divided by 10 and if we pop in our calculator again 2 divided by 10 equals 0 0.2, which is a terminating decimal. We'll take a look at another example, which is 3 over 7, which cannot be rewritten with a denominator of either 10 or 100 or 1,000, um, but we can rewrite this as 3 divided by 7. Um, just to see, we'll pop our calculator back in. And we will divide 3 divided by 7. And we get a big mess of numbers. So that's 0 0.4285714285. So you see at one point, when it hits the 4 again, it starts to repeat. So 428571 is the repeating part of the decimal. So we will write this as 0. 428571, and this is the part of the decimal that repeats.